Hello everyone, my name is EposVox, and welcome to another brief OBS tutorial, just kind of touching things up from my big tutorial with questions that people have. Now, a recent question has been in regards to when you start recording a game, people's screens are black, like they're not able to record the game. Now, there are two possible solutions for this issue, and so you kind of got to play around with your settings, play around with your computer, and then if that these do not work, I suggest posting in the support forum uh, for OBS and getting some support there, as I am not a resource to use for support for running OBS. Now, first issue, your graphics driver, be it AMD or NVIDIA, update them. There's often graphics driver incompatibilities that cause your game to not be able to be detected by the DirectX hook that OBS uses to stream your game. Now one thing to note is this will be a bit more difficult if you're running on a laptop, but I can assure you streaming a PC game from a laptop that you're running on the, the game on the same PC is probably going to be very difficult for your computer to handle in the first place. I would highly not recommend it. And that's also probably why a lot of you all are getting taking too long to encode down at the bottom. Moving on past that disclaimer. The second possible solution is that you actually have the wrong video device specified in the settings. And I did not apparently cover this enough in the first tutorial because I did not think that would be an issue. But in order to fix that, for, for example, let me, let me touch on that a bit more. For example, in some laptops you have like your default Intel integrated graphics that your processor has, and then you actually have an NVIDIA graphics chip in there as well, which your games handle. Um, and then, for example, let me open up my NVIDIA control panel here. I have... Hello, lag. Okay. I have two graphics cards as well. I have my NVIDIA GTX 660, which is my main gaming graphics card, and then I have a 9800 GT, which is like an eight-year-old graphics card that basically just supports a couple monitors, but I also have set to PhysX as a dedicated card for just some extra detail. And again, just to support extra, screen, extra screens you may have a very similar setup in your laptop and frankly not even know about it because the laptops don't really want you messing with that. Now you have two options. One a that a subscriber commenter mentioned is that if you know how to do it you can actually tell your graphics card in your laptop to make OBS run on your NVIDIA card. Now an example of how this might be done is by going to your NVIDIA control panel going to manage 3D settings and then in here you can add a currently running program. So click add. Takes a second to pop up. And then you can find OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. Click add selected program. And then you can, there might be an option for you to just basically dedicate it to, you know, make it run on the NVIDIA card. And then you can adjust settings from there, things like that. And then hit apply close out that window. The second option is to double check your settings. So go to your settings in OBS, click the video tab, and then where it says video adapter, that's actually where a lot of people are probably having the wrong thing selected. In here you probably have, instead of like your dedicated NVIDIA or AMD graphics card, you probably have default Intel integrated HD graphics or something selected. Now this will work for your desktop if you have Intel integrated HD or whatever selected as your video adapter. That will show your desktop just fine, but it will not show your games because your games are going to default to your second card, which supports the games. So simply change that, hit apply, hit OK, and you're good to go, or you should be. And again, if driver updating doesn't work, if changing your video adapter doesn't work, I highly suggest posting in the support forum, as there are people there who will help you out pretty quickly. Hope this cleared some things up for people, hope this helped people get back to streaming a bit better. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye-bye.